Hello fairies, we are back and look at this cool ass wand that I got from the Jasmine Bean store online. I love that it's a fairy wand and it's literally so freaking cute. Um, I think it's still available on their website too by the way. But anyways, I just want to say hi everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Fairy here, Fairy Cry. And we have some exciting content that I want to share with you guys. I recently just went to Chicago to uh, go see Jasmine Bean at the House of Blues. And it was so much fun. I have so many things that I want to talk about. But yeah, to get into the spirit of Jasmine Bean, I'm wearing this super cool and cute, terrified baby tee. It is in pink, and you can see it has a terrified stars on it. If you haven't watched the music video, I think you should. Their music videos are really awesome, and their music in general is really amazing. And you can see that it has a little Jasmine Bean um, tag or logo on the shirt. But yeah, getting back to my story on going to Chicago. So I live in California, and I had to fly out to Chicago to go see Jasmine Bean because originally I was planning on going to a show local to me which was in San Francisco and San Francisco is about two hours away from Sacramento so that would have been perfect and it would have been ideal to go to that show but the thing was that I was actually on my honeymoon because if you guys haven't seen my recent video I talked about that I just recently got married and um, yeah I was on my honeymoon so I was like shoot how am I gonna go see Jasmine Bean <sighs> and so I had to just book a flight and go see them across the country which is fine because I was really interested in actually going to Chicago I've never been there before it was my first time ever and let me tell you it did not let me down the city itself is so beautiful and the venue house of blues was so cool they were very accommodating too i felt like they were really relaxed and organized uh if i had to give a review of the venue and i felt like the people that work there knew what they were doing the sound was so good like the speakers was clear and it was crisp so if you guys ever have any shows coming up at the house of blues it's really good and i think it's definitely worth going out there for a show i had gotten vip meet and greet package and it was a package to meet jasmine which was really cool it was like a hundred dollars and i thought that was a really good deal because you get to meet jasmine and then you also get like these freebies in the package which i mean you are paying for but but there's several things that i'll show later in the video of the merch and what you get from the vip package so i had a red eye flight and i flew for about four hours which wasn't bad it was like 11 at night 11 p.m and then i arrived in chicago at around five o'clock a.m so yeah i was um a red eye and I was able to sleep through the plane but when I got to Chicago I had booked an Airbnb and I stayed there took a shower and got ready there and then I went straight to the House of Blues from there and uh, getting over there was pretty easy I felt like there wasn't really any traffic and the town honestly like Chicago seems really small as compared to, you know, bigger cities like San Francisco or New York. Like, I bet if I had spent a month there maybe, or even just two weeks, I'd probably know where everything, like the main things are in Chicago. It was a pretty easy city to navigate and I felt like the people that lived there and the people that I was communicating with throughout the whole day, everyone was really nice and chill so that's always a good thing to know um if you guys plan on traveling over there we had gotten an email on instructions on what to do for the vip so i can post a picture right here and you guys can go ahead and take a look at it the schedule for the meet and greet package you would meet at 4 30 p.m for check-in and then five o'clock is when the vip experience started so like when you would meet Jasmine and talk to them and um, you know take pictures with them or whatever else 
and then uh, five o'clock is like the early entry into the venue. People who had like meet and greet packages, they got early entry into the venue before it was open to the general public. And that was about six o'clock when they opened the doors for the general public. So I got there, I wanna say one o'clock. I was thinking about getting there at 12, but then I thought like, that's a little bit too early. I don't wanna be super early. So I actually got ready at 12 o'clock and then went to go eat lunch and kind of relaxed a little bit before heading over to the venue. So when I got there, there was already a line, probably about like, I wanna say, probably about like six people in front of me. I would just say that you should get there maybe like two and a half hours early and not four hours early like I did because then you're honestly just gonna be sitting there around and you know, like twiddling your thumbs and not knowing what to do or even just sleeping on the ground. and. To be honest, like I feel like e no matter how early you get there, it's it's going to vary. Like if you have the meet and greet and then you're going to get in line to talk to Jasmine and then after that you're going to buy merch, it really like doesn't matter at that point because everyone's going to move around and separate and like do things on their own time so like you could have gotten there later in the day so then they started separating people at the front when it hit 4 30 and they're like okay anyone that has a meet and greet package you're gonna line up on this side and then anyone is general admission you line up on this side so like that point it doesn't matter how early you got there or how late you guys are gonna be separating throughout the lines anyways so then we separated while we were waiting in line i met these other beans that were super sweet and they had created some candy and i will show you guys that i got this below five thing or five below jar that i found at five below and it's a really good storage like cake thing it's super cute it's ceramic it's like super high quality too for like six bucks and this is the candy that they made so there was a group that was in front of me and they had told me they had they were making candy all morning uh before the concert and it was super cute because i got these ones so there's yonder and this is like a really good worldwide torture album song or i think it's an ep but so there's Yonder, and I love the colorway, super cute. It's like spooky pink and black. And then I also got this Jasmine Bean one, which was really cute. I love the colors on it. Um, and then there's Princess Castle, another good song. I love this one with the flower between it. It just makes me so happy that people go out of their way to create these. And then this one was my first one that I got, and it's Fish. Super cute song. Um, but yeah, I just want to say like how sweet it is when people go out of their way to create like things for other fans. Because it really just makes the whole experience like amazing. It creates such a good community and I don't know, I just love it. It makes me want to make candy for the next concert I go to. I wish I had actually made some candy because then I would have, you know, been able to give some back to them. Someone also had passed out like a bag of these, which was like, hold your flashlight out for uh, Stockholm Butterfly, which is one of my favorite songs. Um, that song actually really makes me cry because I, I really like, I feel like I really connect with that song because I had like addiction with drug use and like abusive relationships and all that stuff so I feel like I really connect on that level and the song's just really sad but it was really cute that you know people wanted to it's another community thing where it's like okay let's all take out our flashlights during the song and make it special they started taking us into the venue and we get into the venue Jasmine's already there we can see them behind like this blue screen uh their backdrop and i was getting so nervous i was like oh my god i don't know what to say but yeah we were lining up on the stairs and then walking towards them the people that work there they're like if anyone has gifts please give them to me before you meet jasmine like right before and which is really nice because i'm so glad i had printed out my gift 
and wrote them a personal letter. I'll show you guys a picture of the artwork. And I have my Instagram for it. I started drawing again, but I'll get into that story when I talk about it. So yeah, I drew them this picture and I was really happy and I wrote down like, uh, I didn't take a picture of what I wrote down, but I know it's a personal message of like saying how happy I am to have discovered their music because they're such an inspiration to me. And um, I basically said that to Jasmine when I met them. But yeah, I handed off my artwork and I was like freaking out because I was like, oh gosh, I'm next. And so I walk up and all of a sudden my nerves just went away. I don't know if it's because I like smoked a little bit before I went in and I was like calm at that point, but like still kind of freaking out. <laughs> but I was so excited and I basically walked up to them and I was like, oh my gosh, first of all, look at your outfit is so amazing and cute. I love it. And um, they're just like, oh, thank you so much. And um, the, the people that were taking pictures were like, okay, let's go get a picture now because they're trying to rush everything. They're like, um, they're telling us that prior to like, we don't have as much time to talk to Jasmine because, you know, they have a whole line of people that want to speak to Jasmine too and take pictures so they need to rush the process so after that after I said that and we we're like talking for a little bit they're like okay let's take your picture now and I was like okay so I did like a little peace sign you guys can see in the picture right here and then um they're like oh your phone case is so cute and I was like thank you <laughs> and then I was talking to them about how like how inspired I am by them and their music their art and like it got me to be creative again. So I started drawing and I was like, I hope you're able to see this drawing that I created based off of Terrified, your music video. And they're like, oh yeah, I wish I could um, take accept gifts um, personally, like, you know, from hand to hand because they're like, but I guess fans previously have like thrown stuff at them. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so horrible. I'm so sorry I had to experience that. And then we're like talking about how it's her, their first time at the House of Blues and it was really exciting because it was my first time too. So that was really nice to have like a tiny little conversation with them. And just like, I don't know, meeting someone who uh, really inspires you and like creates music that you can connect to is such an amazing experience to like see who they are like face to face and actually meet them i just want to say they're like such a sweet soul they're so kind and so calm like i wasn't i felt like it was easy to talk to them and so yeah if you guys like meet them i feel like you should definitely tell them things that you know why they inspire you or you know how why you like their music so much and I feel like they would really appreciate you telling them that I was so happy and ready for the concert and uh, they're just like okay like after you're done meet and greet merch is right behind so you got to go back upstairs and I was like I have to use the bathroom so I ran up to the bathroom and then I went and got my merch now I will show you guys what I got so obviously I'm going to show you guys um the meet and greet package you get a picture with Jasmine you can bring any camera as long as it's not like a professional recording camera I believe but I just use my phone I was gonna use my digital camera but I realized like the quality is not that good and I can always edit off my phone on an app to make it look vintage or you know yeah so you get a picture with them you get to meet them and you get early entry to the venue and so this is what you get when you first before you meet them you get the VIP meet and greet pass um, laminate. So this says Jasmine Bean on it. Try not to get the reflection of my computer. But you get Jasmine's signature on it, which is really nice. And then it just says meet and greet Jasmine Bean traumatic livelihood tour. I think it's really cool. I never had anything signed from them, so I thought it was really nice that this came in the package. And then you get this really cute mirror compact. So I'm trying to tilt it so you guys can see it. So it says Jasmine Bean on it and it is reflective. And you get the mirror. And then on the back it basically has nothing. But I was thinking about putting like Terrified Star on it. Which actually I might do that right now. 
So you get these four stickers and they're all the same. They're not different um, positions or like different stars. So I kind of do wish that we had gotten different stars because that would have been really nice, but that's okay. I still really appreciate it. So I just put the star on it and I think it looks so much more cuter. And then here's the back. So now I only have three, which is fine. I did also buy like other stickers from their website, but this is the first shirt I got. So I wanted to get merch of each color and I got the tour shirt. This one was 35. All the shirts were 35 and the sweater was 75. So I got this shirt and it says Traumatic Livelihood. I don't know what it actually says on the bottom, but I know it says Traumatic Livelihood at the top and then Tor at the corner. You can see it's Jasmine's Terrified music video, the outfit that they're wearing. And then on the back, this is the tour dates. So it's really cool font. I like it. And then uh, they had two different versions of the shirt. I think one was a little bit more zoomed in and that was the black one. And this one's a little bit more zoomed out. But this is from um, Shit Show from the, the Angel Wings music video. And I really love it because it's kind of, it's honestly giving like an Evanescence kind of a vibe. So here's the shirt and then here's the back which I really like the font I really wanted to get this in the black one too but my bank account said no so I got two shirts and then I got this hoodie which I really love hoodies so this was definitely a must and this one is from the music video you know what you've done um, very cute and then the back which I really love the font so all the tour dates are on here. Last but not least, we have the tote bag, which I was really excited about. This was $25. So I'll have you guys take a look at that. So as you can see, and this is by the artist. I had to look up on Discord and ask someone, but someone did tell me that it's Wendy is dead. On Instagram I can put their account right here but their artwork is really cute and I'm really happy with the tote bag so I think it's like yeah so it's the traumatic livelihood album um, and they recreated it in their artwork and the one thing I'm really sad about is that they did not have the Jubix cube at our venue and I was really upset about that but I'm hoping that maybe in the future that they might have it on their website but if not, then I was thinking maybe we can just, you know, go on Etsy or something and create a custom one with the photos that I took at the show. After that, I went straight to the bottom, back to the bottom, because I was like, oh shoot, I need to get there at the barricade before the show starts. So I rushed downstairs, I went to the bathroom, did all that, and fixed myself, and then I went downstairs and I was hanging out around where the barricades are and at first I was kind of back where Jasmine was having their meet and greet still because they still had a few people in line and so I was still good at time at timing and then I was like okay I'm just gonna you know line up behind these people over here and then I was like wait if I do that there's people already in front so I need to be center stage so I had to do a little bit of figuring out which side of the stage should I enter in from to get center so I kind of went off to the side more and there is like this bar so they had the bar on the side and then there's like the accessible lane it was like a little ramp that went towards the stage and the stage is over here and then they had like more entry way right here to get to the barricades and then they had another side entrance with this bar on this side or whatever it was on the side I don't know what it was and then yeah so like behind here the lighting effects people or whatever the stage production people 
have their setup right here and then the center's pit and then there's the stage and so I was kind of like going off to the side where the bar is because there's no one there and so I was like I'll just go off over there <laughs> and I'll go line up over there where those there's like two people over there so I went over there and then I was like hanging out there for a little bit and then all of a sudden I was like talking to the people next to me I'm like dang is anyone gonna go to the barricades yet like we're all talking about that and they're like we should just do it we should just go so like all of a sudden I see these like these two kids that were like I don't know 10 years old or whatever they're like running to the barricades right I was like oh hell no and so <laughs> I literally me and these two people were like okay we're going right now we're booking it so like we ran and um well not really run like fast walked to the center stage so I was really happy I got center and um yeah, I kind of manifested that. If you really have like the mindset and you're watching people around you and you're kind of like going solo too, because I go to show solo now and um, I feel like no one's holding me back, so I'm doing whatever. But I feel like if you have really good mindset and you're just like checking out everything and you know what you're where you're gonna go, you're not hesitating, you're gonna get center stage or somewhere near there. I was really happy about that. Yeah, then they had the opener, which was I'll put the Instagram right here. I think it's Piwa. Um, please correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but they were so good. I really love their their show. It was really good. Then after that, Jasmine went on. played all my favorite songs so it was basically the whole traumatic livelihood album and then some songs from worldwide torture like the main you know songs that everyone knows which is like hello kitty and then puppy pound and all those other you know main songs yonder and i wish that they did play monster truck but i feel like it wouldn't make sense if they played monster truck because you know johnny or however you pronounce their name, wasn't there. But, um, Carnage too. I would have loved to see Carnage if Lucy Loon was there. I would have, like, died. But, I, I don't know. I really love Jasmine's whole new Traumatic Livelihood album. I think it's so amazing. And, oh yeah, that's what I want to talk about. Which is, like, concert etiquette, everyone. Um, I'm gonna post this picture right here. Of Jasmine's post which is basically saying like they wish that their audience was more quiet during times like instead of screaming lyrics and not just singing like screaming it out would be so much better for people around them and them themselves like because you know they have autism and they get like um, 
overstimulated and I was definitely getting overstimulated too because there's so many kids around the pe the person next to me like they were they were overstimulated too they kept saying like oh I really hope these kids are not gonna shriek when the song comes on and I was just like don't worry about it like um you know I'll make sure like to give them the look and like just tell them that calm down and um we did have to do that several times which was kind of annoying because I remember during the show one of the kids behind me was literally like Jasmine I love you Jasmine I love you like stuck their hand right between like you know you're getting in my personal space please like back up and um that was a you know it's like you can't get mad at kids because they're kids but like you can tell them to like you know tone it down bring it down a little bit um you know if you keep screaming I love you Jasmine and Jasmine's not saying anything back just stop already it's kind of like the whole thing with when I went to Melanie's show and um this person next to me kept screaming Verde um which is Melanie's uh partner boyfriend and um five times in my ear and I'm very sensitive like like you need to back up and stop screaming in my ear because it's it's like distracting me and it's distracting other people around you it's it's like ruining the video if you're recording and like you know you're you're there to see melanie you're not there to see the boyfriend so why are you screaming their name they're not responding to you there's no point in having to keep doing that so like that's what i mean about like the kids behind me screaming Jasmine I love you I love you I love you like over and over it's like oh gosh can you guys just stop like they already said I love you back to the fans like they don't you don't need to keep saying it to have them reassure you that they love you it's just like <laughs> to stop but um enough of my complaining other than that like the show was outstanding I love Jasmine and their music so much and uh like, I'm, I'm a new fan, I will admit that, like, I just recently started listening to them about maybe, maybe, like, six months ago, but, boy, like, I am, I'm in love, like, with their music and everything, their personality, their whole entire, like, outfits and everything, and it just inspires me so much, and they sing really good live which is like a plus plus for me. I mean, I really feel like that they're gonna grow really well because of how good they are and how amazing they are to their fans. And yeah, I hope that everyone gets a chance to see Jasmine and maybe even meet them. And let me know if you guys liked this video. I have videos of them performing on my TikTok. If you guys want to follow that, that's also at Fairy Cry. And um, I'm also on Jasmine's Discord as Fairy Cry too. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe. Tell me if you plan on seeing them in the future. I do have a few more videos that I want to create. I was speaking about my. Melanie Martinez video on the custom doll which I have coming up um, I will have that out for you guys to watch too and then I have in October Taylor Swift so if you guys are Swifties then that video will be fun I will be making a vlog too because it'll be my first time going to New Orleans which will be really awesome um, it's gonna be late October, so you guys can look forward to that video at the end of October, and I hope you enjoyed all this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!